And now, here's Vaca and J-Rock Live. Committed to producing premium cannabis that is expertly cured and hand-trimmed, High Grade is dedicated to perfecting cultivation and extraction methods while staying patient-centered and product-focused. Industry leaders and connoisseur-grade flower and extracts ensure an environmental controls are set to the absolute best levels in a manner that creates only the cleanest, most potent, terpene-rich cannabis in all its forms. With over 30-plus locations to find high-grade products in Phoenix, there's more than one way to add high-grade to your life. Elevate higher with high-grade. Don't erase what I did. Don't erase the beginning. We're going to let you know what's live and direct. So you can go back and show your crew. Yo, I heard that new, new, new shit. You ain't even down. This is what time of day. Nobody oh, brought the tape recorder. Y'all not ready one, for this. One, uh-uh. One, uh-uh. One, see, one, one, see, my one, name is KRS1, one, G. One, and, uh, one, one, see, when I be coming one, through one, for the UK one, crew, one, me and Goldie, you know how we do. Only the real hip hop heads know what time it is with this. Now if you with me, I leave you and dominate this microphone. I speak you. I'm writing for the people. Fight it if you need to. I can see through and see that. You saw an MC and tried to be that. That is you, so is me. Can you believe that? And agree that? True lyrics will always suffice. And real meaning rhymes equal actual life. It's the truth essence in every Chase your record sales, G. Some things are pure luck. Other things are meant to be. I bet they'll mention me in the next century. Harris one innovator in early rap poetry. Simultaneously. Simultaneously, you will be forgotten While in the year 2000, criminal minding will still be rocking You waste your time battling me, I got mine happening, see You should have thought, G, a little bit sooner Instead of battling me, you need to plan your longevity Before you die broke like Sammy Davis Jr. The solar, followed by the lunar, followed by the solar Followed by McDonald's and Coca-Cola The point is that, whatever the outcome of the battle The day goes on with more french fries and soda One, two, and you don't Quit, Goldie has got to be the real short shit. One, two, and you don't quit. KRS one, and yes, we do it like this. Yo, what up? It's Vaki, your host of the Stone Age podcast. Welcome to the show. I'm gonna start out the week. Uh, this week, starting out talking about a grower and a breeder, a friend of ours named Tron. So I wanted to highlight Tron. He's been on the show before. If you haven't. You know, check him out on Instagram. You know, to, you need to go to Cron underscore Don underscore Grows and check him out. He's uh, he's been killing it out here in Arizona. Um, you know, killing it for a facility out here in the past as well, doing hydroponics, the current culture system, growing monster trees indoor. Um, and recently, he went on his own and he's doing his own breeding um, and his own growing as well. But he's re- releasing strains now. Um, the most recent, one of the most recent, was his fireberries. And let me tell you, it looks amazing. So you need to get on his site, check out the fireberries, see when he's going to do his next drop of seeds and really uh, get some of those and scoop them. Scoop out, you know, and support an awesome, awesome grower and an awesome dude that's, you know, doing good good things for the community and also, you know, just for the cannabis community in general. So I'm going to shoot you over to J-Rock. What's up, brother? Yo, man. That's good shit right there, man. I'm super excited to... Let this uh, show uh, kick off with our artist of the week. Yeah, I'm glad to have you back, by the way. Hey, thank you. Yeah, last week I was down and out, but I'm feeling much better. Uh, so thank you for covering me, uh, Tanya. Um, I saw the show. It was great. Um, this week's artist, lovely Natalie Rise. Yeah. So Natalie Rise, this is a shout out for the ladies. Uh, Natalie Rise is an Australian born, now residing in Jamaica, and is spreading truth, power, freedom uh, through her music. Uh, Natalie uh, pro- uh, project launched in 2015 out of the U.S. and, and Europe uh, and pretty much beyond as she's been all over the place. Um, now uh, with tours alongside with Michael Franti, Spearhead, Protégé, Catch a Fire, Third World, J Boog, I mean, Julian Marley, Tribal Seeds. I mean, there's so many artists that she's been on the road with um, and collaborated with. Um, she is currently going to be on tour starting August 3rd 
Um, I believe she's going to be starting out of Santa Cruz. Um, uh, the One Love is Action Tour with uh, Minori. Um, yeah. This uh, this this is a very unique um, tour because uh, she's actually uh, formulated a mostly all girl band. Sweet. So. Um, it's very different and uh, very exciting. So this is uh, she is she is big behind women's rights and 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 people. Uh, she just loves people, and so we're gonna actually uh, play a little song right. that we have. Um, it's called Indestructible. Oh, I uh, love that song. So this is a great song. This is featuring Kumar, uh, Kumar formerly of Raging Fire. Uh, Kumar now has his own project. Um, so check it out. Uh, tell me, let me know what you think. Uh, this is my artist pick of the week, Natalie Rise. Run it. Indestructible? Indestructible. Indestructible. Yeah, man. Uh, she's just a phenomenal artist. Um, I'm super excited to have her in, in Arizona here really, really soon. I can't wait to meet her in person yeah, myself. Yeah, so she's an amazing And I know my girl can. Um, <laughs> she's all giddy and, over there. Uh, uh, just, just great. So great. Where, where can people go to find, you know, and, and you know, all major platforms? All to, major platforms. see that video she, in full? Yeah, she can check it out on YouTube. I mean, all major platforms. Uh uh, Natalie Rise, um, you know, you can go indestructible. And, yeah, man, she's got a lot of stuff going on. I mean, it's hard to hard to miss. So, well, great artist of the week. So that's Rise. That's R I Z E. So, so check it out. Let's uh, shout out our, uh, our, our 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 shows from last week. We had our Sonoran yeah. Horticulture segment with Bill Artwall. If you missed it, you need to go back to last week's episode. We had a lot of great information. He was talking a lot on uh, what to prepare for and what to gear up on for the upcoming flower season. And where you should be at um, with your plant stages. And if you're looking to grow outdoor, you can't go wrong by tuning in every month with the Stone Age Podcast and Bill Artwell from West Coast Green Thumbs. Check him out on Instagram. Also, we were talking to Dan um, Vinkovetsky, um, a.k.a. Danny Danko. He was the uh, former writer and uh, editor for uh, High, Times. High Times Magazine. Yeah. We had a great conversation with him, great interview. He actually opened up, you know, and he was, he's a, he was a good friend of uh, Frenchie Cannoli that we lost last week. The, uh, the world lost Frenchie Cannoli. He was a... A huge cannabis uh, influence in the world for, for hash and, and a lot of other things. Um, so he opened up on his stories with him, and uh, you know we, we thank you for that, Dan. And yeah. it was a great segment, man. It, it turned out really well, and uh, a lot of good feedback on that. So uh, we so did. A, we were talking about uh, people that passed. Uh, you know, actually, I'm celebrating uh, one year. My mom passed one year today. Yeah. Um, so she's here with me. Uh, she's here Definitely. with me every single day. She's sitting but, in that chair right but there. But yeah, she's actually. I brought a little picture of her. So you guys can check her out. That's awesome. Uh, it's my mom. 
So, uh, you know, uh, she goes everywhere with me. Um, so just wanted to mention that. It's a, a yes. special day. Um, well, always so, got to give that so love, Hold right? your loved ones. Keep them close. Give them a hug, kiss. You know what I mean? Because you never know when that last time is going to be, you know. And you never want to think like that, but, that's right. you know, we all got to go sometime. So. That's right. And that's beautiful, by the way. Yeah. You know, shout out to your mom there. Thank you. And then also I wanted to shout out Tanya for uh, really, uh, you know, holding it down last week. Um, you know, I, I was in such pain. I already had uh, mouth surgery, um, and but I'm feeling much better. I still got some pain there, but nothing compared well, to what I was going we're through. We're glad to have you back, so, man. So thank you. So and this week, you know, we're gonna make it fun. This week, we're gonna be yeah. talking to a, an author, a master mixologist. We're gonna be, you know, I, we've never had anybody that's done mixology with cannabis, you know, and infused things like that and drinks. And, so. and that's that's what I want to know about it. I was, you know, I have lots of questions, and I know that you know back in the day we had, you know, a, 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 a company come on and make us some some drinks and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, that was that, a, but, what um, was it, Nectar, Nectar, or I something? Can't, I can't remember, Nebula Nectar? There you go, Nebula, Nebula Nectar. Nectar. Hey, so. you remember. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but I'm excited, I'm excited. Yeah, let's to, go ahead you know, and bring, bring him on. on. We got Warren Bobro on, um, he's the CEO of Class Apothecary, um, LLC, so let's go ahead and bring on Warren. Warren, hey. can you hear us? Hey, hey I'm Warren. You. Welcome Greetings. to the show, man. Welcome, buddy. Thank you, thank you for having me, what an honor. Absolutely. Hey, well, you know, we appreciate your patience. Yes, you know, thank like, you. We know it took a little longer to get you on, but we appreciate that. Oh, just hold on tight. I'm, I'm just going to have a little smoke while, while you're introducing <laughs> me. So go right hey, I, I like that pipe, man. That's an old school pipe right there. <laughs> well, you know, I'm old school. It's a little corn cup. I like it. Hey, that yeah, looks I'm exactly jealous right like now. I like the pipe I used to get out of my parents' drawer. <laughs> yeah, I well, younger. I'm probably as old as your parents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that pipe reminds me of the old Popeye pipe. You know that he held in his mouth. Sure, you know? sure, yeah, it, and it gives great hits. But that's not spinach, though, right? No, it's not spinach. <laughs> it looks no, like it's, it. uh, it's green Bodhi from uh, Oregon. Oh, oh. you lucky! I, uh, uh, we had I'm green. Uh, we had green Bodie on recently. Yeah, so. he was on the show. Yeah, John's a good guy. Yeah, yeah. John, he's a great dude. I'm glad to, uh, we we got to meet him on the show, and I look forward to meeting him in person someday. So lucky I, you, you get I, to smoke well, some of his flower. No, it's just a convoluted story, but anyway. <laughs> What's, what's the strain you're uh, smoking on? Uh, it's the Tenzen Kush. Awesome. Larry. I wish I had some of that Kush yeah. in front of me right now. <laughs> yeah, we, well, we, we, yeah, we were uh, you know, trying some stuff earlier. And, yeah, uh, I actually want to give them a shout good. out. Um, we were uh, smoking on, blazing on some alien cookies um, from Shango. And Shango is uh, originally from Las Vegas. And now they're out in Arizona. They're an Arizona brand. Um, man, that alien cookies was fire, right? It was very, it tasted very good and actually... It was very mellow. Yeah, know, so. it made me feel real good and, and uh, prepared for the show to be able to talk to uh, Warren over here and find out about some uh, some mixology, yeah, man. man. Uh, yeah, so so I wrote this book back in uh, 2015. Got a little glare on it. Sorry about that. But uh, it's really the first book on the topic, and I don't think anyone has uh, tried to do it since. And I don't blame them because it's just dangerous. I mean, I'm gonna <laughs> I teach you stuff in here. You could destroy all your friends and family. I, I did. I was on Vice Land Live, and I destroyed them on live TV. It, yeah. It's memorable. I was. So, uh, I heard you talking about that yesterday. <laughs> I, I hope that uh, in a little bit here you can divulge a little bit more info on that yeah, and uh, tell us the there's story. There's something nice. Ooh, what is this? This is like that's like a Sazerac. There it is. There's a Sazerac. There's about 250 milligrams of THC in it. Woo. Wow. That sounds powerful. Yeah, I used uh, I infused the maple syrup component, so I made it like a maple syrup Sazerac. Okay. Well, so tell us a little bit about yourself and how you uh, oh where you man. where you started and how you got into this. Do I have to talk about this? myself? You guys, I told you, you just Google me, so I don't have to talk about myself. <laughs> you see all these books up here behind yeah. me? I you know I I wrote these books. They're all full of my recipes. I uh, I have a knack for taste. So I was a saucier a chef. I started as a dishwasher. I worked my way up. People said I had talent. I was probably lying. <laughs> um, no, but, but really, I, you know, I have 75 recipes in my book and they're all beautiful and they all have weed in them. Not all of them have uh, alcohol. Like uh, this is a Vietnamese iced coffee with THC infused condensed milk. I mean, wow. there's no alcohol in it. You could put, you know, agar cold rum in it if you want, but so you know, some some no of your to. some of your recipes do have alcohol, then, right? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Because I like a crossfade. You know, my publisher only gave me a month to uh, write the book, so there were times that I was on the couch. 
<laughs> yeah, I can, it out. I can imagine, yeah. right? Well, I mean, that's yeah, good well, to hear, I had to develop all the recipes yeah, and yeah. make sure they test. That's right. And, and, and you know, and I live here in a town, you know, New Jersey just became legal, but they're in the Stone Age. I mean, absolutely, like you, the Stone Age. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's going nowhere fast around here. And, uh, you know, so when I was doing my book, I couldn't get, you know, 75 different strains. I was lucky if I got, you know, some some scratch. So it's uh, it was a, a, a real challenge for me, but I had a lot of fun with it, you know, and, and the book is on, I think, the ninth printing now. Wow. But I think that was that, that brought out a Pretty lot good. of creativity because when you have limited resources, you really had to open up and really say, OK, you know, yeah. I got to really, you know, dig deeper. And, yeah, and, and you know, and th there wasn't a whole lot of technology back then, like there is now. I mean, I have a uh, Levo two down on the floor next to me, and there's a magical butter machine somewhere. There, there was a, uh, you know, Garen Angel was really just amazing. I got one of the first uh, magical butter machines. So I was doing everything with a double boiler and a hot plate, and yep. he had this machine that does everything internally. And, you know, to be able to have that show up to a photo shoot when we're, you know, shooting the photography for the book was a game changer because it, it made that I could do a, a whole batch in 90 minutes as opposed to waiting like four or five hours. Yep. Or if I was doing an infusion method, it could take all month. I oh, mean, it's, yeah. you know, it's this very slow poke method. I, uh, I'm infu infusing some uh, chartreuse VEP right now, which is, you know, some wildly expensive chartreuse. And then I put you know, 2,800, uh, whatever it's, it's, there's a, there's a lot of <laughs> 2,800 milligrams of THC in a bottle of uh, chartreuse. I'd say that's a lot. Ooh, wow. Yeah. wow. Well, it works out that each drink is about a hundred milligrams. Okay. Wow. That makes sense. Incredible. Incredible. Mm -hmm. So I'm reading here. So, uh, it says six time author, uh, yeah. a chef, <laughs> a barman, a cannabis yeah. alchemist, a yeah. master mixologist. Does it does it tell you that I was a banker for twenty years? No, oh, and I'm, not. I'm gonna, I hold on, I, hold on. I, now you said banker. I'm going to add another up. little asterisk here. Banker. <laughs> yeah, okay, banker I'll write for that in years, there. So I had really short hair. And so, so uh, it says that you you managed a bar in Moscow. Uh, no, 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 no. I, no. I okay. taught a, a class at the Moscow Bar Show. That's awesome. And I uh, got stoned in Moscow. I'm not supposed to tell you that. <laughs> so it says uh, the South by Southwest Cannabis Disruption. Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah, I spoke at, at South by. Wow. Okay. And we that got the High good. Times Cannabis Cup Judge. That's incredible. Yeah, I did that. I did that recently. That was I did beverages. Um, did I tell you about this? No, tell us. Tell us. We want to know. Uh, this is a, a mock-up can. God, it's okay. terrible glare in my my office tonight. Uh, it's Are called you watching Klaus. a movie? Uh, <laughs> I, don't going, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. You're, you're glowing. You're like having like yeah, a disco. Like, <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm about to start dancing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just doing weird shit. I have, I've never seen this. It's on like all these different screens. I didn't take anything today. Uh, anyway, so this is Klaus. Uh, actually, this is Klaus. Klaus is my 1800s German drinking gnome who's nice. traveled all over the world with me. I know it sounds strange. But um, that's interesting. Klaus is, is a beverage with 10 milligrams of live of Vertoza nanotechnology live resin. Wow. And uh, it'll be out in California just as soon as we can get through our supply chain issues. Awesome. <laughs> so how many ounce can is that? A 10 ounce can? Uh, it's 8.4. 8. 8.4. 8. So that's a standard can. So that's. A... Yeah, it's a, it's a little one. Yeah, it's that's... a little can and it's got beautiful artwork by my friend John Mammoth. Uh, it's just gorgeous. Well, you said, and, it, uh, you know, 10 milligrams, obviously, but it's a uh, live nano resin. live resin. Yeah, that's that live makes a big resin. difference right there. And it right has there. full terps. So, you know, you look at beverages that are out now, and most of them are just insipid seltzers. Yeah. I mean, it's like <laughs> CBD, as a right? It's like they, CBD. They would, it's very, it's very uh, I guess, unexplained, I guess you could say. I mean, uh, well, I don't know well, what words I'm looking for. I mean, no, I think what you're what you're trying to say is that the drinks that are out now are basically one dimensional. They're fizz and they're sweet, or they're fizz and then they're an amalgamation of like twenty different ingredients. This has uh, three ingredients. Wow! So uh, so it's very simple, and it's a, a craft mocktail. And the strain that we're using is a it it smells like gelinade. It tastes like gelinade. Hmm. It just doesn't say gel. 
<laughs> well, that's but cool. uh, but it really has all the full terps, and it works well with the other ingredients, which are can't tell you. Are they all are they <laughs> all different flavors, or is there just one? Specific there's going to be uh, three different skews, but we're starting with one. Very okay. nice. Very nice. Well, that's uh, something for Californians <laughs> to look forward to right there. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Klaus. But you're currently in New Jersey now. Yeah, at this very moment. Yes. Very nice. So, I, you know, you, you brought up Klaus again. I want to, you know, you said what year? 18 what? He's in the 1850s. Wow. Um, when a I lot got of history touch, on him. Yeah. The, he's a Greeble gnome. When I got in touch with the factory, they, they sent me a letter. There was no such thing as email over there, evidently. <laughs> And uh, it took like six months to get even anyone to acknowledge that he existed. And they sent a, a, a letter back that said, he looks very good for his age. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> and how long ago did you, have you had that? You said that that thing has traveled I've with had, you everywhere. I've, I've had him in my care since the early 1990s. Wow. wow. So he's done a lot of traveling. He's wow. been all over the world many times with me. Yeah, very nice. I can, and he's been taken from me by, by some really it's by these machine gun toting French. Oh, I got We got to hear this story. <laughs> yeah. So tell they us wanted, about it. They wanted to look inside and make sure that he wasn't carrying any drugs inside. <laughs> oh. But they, when they handed it back to me, uh, they said there's this French film that was out several years ago. It was called Amelie. And the one guy who had the gun that was sticking up towards my, my neck, uh, he handed him back to me. And the gun pushes into my neck, and he said, "Amelie." Ah. <laughs> <It's> like, jeez, <laughs> oh, 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 wow! Yeah, it's like push that thing. Well, at least you got him back, right? I mean, at least they gave him back. Oh yeah, I mean, but they that's gave it. Him back. It's, it's good luck. Then, yeah. And then right, and then when I was in Germany, not last year because of COVID, but the year before, speaking at the Berlin Bar Convent, I brought Klaus. Hey, well, and he didn't want to leave. You know, I mean, I, he hadn't been there and. In a hundred years. years. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Warren, I don't mind changing my name to Klaus, you know, yeah. and traveling with you, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, well. Hey, I'm a lot of fun. Let me tell you. So we part, where, we where's party. your most recent travels? Where have you been? I mean, you know, COVID has been, you know, crazy uh, and kind of limited. I was, have you gone anywhere to, yet? Yeah, I was out in California a couple weeks ago. Oh, so I went you went to a to different country. To, uh, <laughs> I went out to talk to Planet 13. I w really want to get uh, Klaus and Planet 13. And I spoke to the individuals for like five minutes, and then I flew back to New Jersey. Oh, wow. That's, That's a long wow. trip just wow. to, for five for minutes. Five minutes. It, was, wow. it was the best five minutes of my life. Uh, let's I mean, let's hope you get into, you get into the dispensary, because that's a big I, one. I, I really hope so, because as I said, you know, Klaus is, is something different, and it's not what, you know, God, it's just weird. It's... It's all enveloping. I did not take any mushrooms. I swear, <laughs> uh, it would be—it wouldn't be showing like this. I don't know what's the matter with my computer. Hey, Des, anyway. can you play some music a little bit? Because I want to dance to this <laughs> right here. He you know? like some German surrealistic. Yeah, yeah. Stuff, it yeah. must—it must be that uh, that Green Bodie OG. It got your computer high too. Man, man. some good yeah, shit. Yeah, I did. So anyway, so uh, so Klaus is is something different, and it's something very simple, and it's something that everyone recognizes. But then it has the twist, and the twist is a slightly sour, a slightly tangy, and then a slightly, uh, you know, cannabis tinged experience. And it's something that we're not accustomed to. Because as, as I said, the, the typical cannabis beverage that's out there right now is really no more than fizzy water with fruit flavors added to it. And you don't get a sense that there's cannabis in there at all, because whatever the process is that they're doing, doesn't lend itself to to tasting like weed it just yeah, doesn't, yeah. It doesn't it taste like weed it tastes like 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 fruit punch and, well, and to be honest you know that it's very dangerous um when you well, when you when you really can i mean i like to taste the flavors too but i also uh you know we're, we are talking about something in, in in high consumption um can 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 you know make you sick yeah, I guess. You no, know I mean? no one gets sick. I mean, it. come on. I mean, don't it, scare people. But I'm they, saying, if you were to no. have, if I was to have a 24 no. pack of those things, if I was <laughs> no, down in those things, I no, you're, no, you guys are dabbing. You, you know, okay. Don't, don't well, give me I mean, that. I'm, I'm just, I mean, but there's a lot of, I mean, that's us. But now we just went recreational. Now we're legal. Now we yeah, have a but, lot but of you, people but, but that you're are dealing with for the first you're time. You're dealing with with multiples of of products that are far more 
you know, more, even, yeah. if, even if you have like a six pack of beer, that's a lot more. This is really innocuous. It's a nice experience. It feels good. It's non confrontational. It's more you know, boutique. You're walking down the more, street, you, you know. smoke a joint. Everyone knows what the hell you're doing. They yeah, know your right. business. I like they're, that. They're stigmatized. You know, they, you drink this, they're like, what is that? That looks really good. Right. I want to drink some of that right now. I want to drink some of that. We're far. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can. I can get you uh, non-medicated samples. Um, we're working on that right now, and I think we can send them, for, you know, across state lines. So, uh, it's, you know, it's it's non-medicated. Yeah. It's just the turps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Warren, you know, to be honest, you know, I've uh, I've been around, you know, the dispensary scene a lot. I used to work at one, and there was a, you know, some colas out here, and I'm not a, a soda drinker myself, and there was nothing right, right. that wanted me to try these sodas. You know, I'm not. I don't drink soda, so that was the only option really. There was no. You know, nothing besides some syrup in there and this, that, and the other. Where something like you're you're showing me here, you know, that makes me actually want to try it. You know, it has some live yeah. resin in it. It's not just some distillate or some kind of, you know. No, it's it, it's not. It, it's it really raises the bar. I mean, I'm a member of the bartending guild. I started as a bar back and worked my way up through this business. And you know, I really understand flavor and how to build on things that are simple and 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 delicious and make you want to come back for more. Because they're not like your typical, you know, cannabis infused beverage, which everyone says, you know, it's got these little uh, exclamation points on it with a cannabis leaf. It's like I have to watch out for for weed, but there's nothing to watch out for because cannabis is good for you. It's not it's not going to give you a hangover. You're not going to end up in the hospital. Um, you're not going to throw up on your neighbor's lawn, even though it sounds exciting. Um, you know, anyway, I, I, I'm just the luckiest guy in the world. I mean, I was a banker for 20 years. My friends from the banking business wouldn't have any idea what it's like to start a business, a cannabis business. Right. I, I'm 60 years old. I mean, come on. I, this is the greatest experience <laughs> of my life. Heck yeah. Who, who is doing this? That's no right. one I know. And, no one I know. And you're paving the way for that, right? I mean, right. one of the people paving I, I, the way for something, you know, different. And I think well, that's I just, cool. I got to work and I might as well do what I love and I'm passionate about it, you know. And that's that's the part of, uh, you know, it's not working if you love it and you're passionate and it's not like you're working. You you enjoy what you do. Right. So it's right. not, it's and not I, a drag. And I, have some, and I have something to share, which is different. And that's what makes it exciting. I mean, that's, right. that's that's what makes it a, a gift. So if you go to Amazon, you know, you can pick up my book. It's got all the recipes in it. You can follow me on Instagram. My name, Warren Bobro. Uh, if you run into problems, you can get in touch with me. I'll walk you through it. I've never turned anyone down unless they say nasty things about me. And then you're, you're fucked forever. <laughs> I, um, I don't blame you. You know, you know and. Actually, you know, I just want to read you a, a quick thing. Go for it. I, uh, I dedicated this book to my late father, who was a, a real son of a bitch. And I, I said to my father, Robert Barbaro, who taught me to stand on my own two feet and succeed at what made me happy. And I, I really think that's the secret to life right there. So, uh, you know, it may not have anything to do with cannabis, but then again it does and it so does. you know grab that book again there warren and and there you go and 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 now pick we can a, see what, what would be your favorite what, what what is the most i guess the recipe that stands out the oh, most the, the for recipe you? that stands out to most me popular. with yeah. Uh, yeah. with liquor in it yeah or or, or you oh, you yeah, know what what's, what really gets you excited on on uh, on a specific yeah you know, I've, one I've, I've got a, i've got a great one Got, it's the uh, Benny Goodman Fizz. This is a uh, THC infused gin. Uh, it has a little bit of uh, a rose scented simple syrup, touch of grapefruit bitters, and absinthe. Oh, and, absinthe. Yeah, absinthe. Because that's really the bad boy of the bar, yeah. the bar world. That sounds great. There wow. it is. The Benny, Benny Goodman Fizz. I like the presentation of that it. too. It looks great. I love the book. I mean, it's very colorful. And that and... one is 250 milligrams as well? Uh, all of them are 250 milligrams. Awesome. Yeah, they, so they, what, is that, what, serious, what does but... that book cost us on Amazon? Uh, Amazon is probably 20 bucks or so, 25 bucks. That's sometimes nothing, sometimes yeah, a little less. Um, you know, there's all sorts of good stuff. You know, I, I love working with Mezcal and because it's so mysterious anyway, and it's totally yeah. different than tequila. It has that lovely scotch whiskey, smoky flavor to it. It does. And uh, when you mix cannabis in with it, and there's some stuff in here like that um it just takes you to another place and you become as mysterious and mystical as you want to be <laughs> well 
Well, it's, I like what you said earlier about the, the cross fading, right? Is that what you said? The cross fade. Yeah, absolutely. It's 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 the best high I've ever had. And that, and that's funny that because I, I when I was younger, there was this you know thing when you you drank alcohol and then you know you, we smoke like yeah, but there that's was different. There, there was a way uh, 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 you had to do one before the other. No, yeah, this, yeah. Otherwise, you, you'll be sick forever. Yeah. So, so uh, with no, this, this is, it already this, does it for you. <laughs> this has wonderful finesse. I mean, the uh, especially with the the stuff that I don't do at home, like the the nanotechnology stuff. I mean, it's just amazing how good it makes you look. When I do things the the old fashioned way with either the Levo two or the magical butter machine, it's just amazing that that you're able to do anything at all. And then when you take into account that. You know, the, there are people who are making cannabis-infused beverages all over the United States. Most of them suck, but there's a reason why they suck, and that's because they're no more than seltzer. Yeah, that's true. So when somebody drinks one of your drinks, you know, with the live resin in there, that 10 milligram, um, at, you know, when they come out in Cali, how fast does that affect somebody? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, the onset is about five minutes, and the uh, downset is a couple hours. Awesome. That's not bad at all, you not know, because normally when you're eating an edible, like a food, you know, it takes yeah, a little bit longer. it takes a while. Yeah. And the entourage effect has a lot to do with that. But this, uh, because of the capillaries in your bloodstream are opened up every time you eat or drink, and it gets assimilated into your body very quickly. I like it's it. It's really man. nice. Yeah, it sounds really nice, you know, and I can't and wait. And if you want it to be absolutely wild, and I'm not recommending it because <laughs> the two words, common sense. So, so common sense is out the window. And if you have, like what I'm doing right now, I'm going to be making uh, absinthe frappes in a couple of weeks. And the absinthe that I in, have infused is uh, lucid absinthe. And I have about 2,800 milligrams of THC in a bottle, all wait, waiting patiently for me to make absinthe frappes. For them. Wow, that sounds delicious. Wow. So Which you... is like a mojito without... Uh, without you and that, the absinthe that you're, you're explaining right there, you know, obviously I've done a, a little bit of research on absinthe in the past. past. Um, it is, does it have any hallucinogenic um, No, that's, that's, a, that's, that's, that's a myth. Just, that's just a, a total myth. Okay, that's yeah. what I want to ask you. You would know. It's, There's it's more thujone in, in an onion than there is in an entire bottle of, uh, of absinthe. Okay. It, it was something that was made up by the French government because absinthe sales were cutting into French wine sales. and. Ah. They wanted to, you know, put the kibosh on that. Well, that, that, that. That is really all there is. In a glass of orange juice, there's more fusion than in an entire ball of absinthe. Well, I that's mean, why I wanted to ask you, because you know better than anybody, I'm sure. So, <laughs> Yeah, okay. probably, because I wrote this book called uh, Apothecary Cocktails. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's ah, another one. This, so. is what, this is what started it all. So there's six different titles that you've written? Oh, yeah. There's awesome. Apothecary, there's... The Craft Cocktail Compendium, 200 recipes. Wow. wow. That was a big one. Um, then there's uh, Whiskey Cocktails. We all love whiskey. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Man, you're a... Uh, you... And then there's uh, Cocktails de la Pothecaire in French. I like it. <laughs> Man, you went, a, a you went above and beyond on this. Yeah. And then there's, uh, there's Bitters and Shrub Syrup Cocktails. Wow. Incredible. Wow, we're going to have to, you know, I'm going to have to start with the, the first one and then yeah, uh, well, move my way yeah, up. Exactly. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> no, it's I, all right. Then check out me after the sixth one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I, 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 you know, the dope, the, the, the one on weed is my favorite. It really is because it's, it's the one that, that I can get the most trouble in. Right. So. You know, I did. Uh, I remember you mentioning uh, yesterday when we spoke that you uh, you do some writing for our local uh, cannabis cactus magazine. Yeah, I love working for Michael, and and it's just a. I I love the way it's put together. I love that they've uh, let me have a slot doing what I love. You know, writing about weed, and I've been writing about canagars for them. I got on a canagar uh, kick for them, and I really nice. like it a lot. Um, and then there's uh, Jesus. The screen is just doing all sorts of weird shit tonight. I know it wasn't it really doing that at the like first. It's pulsing, and, and <laughs> yeah. I actually know I, I think it's it's something it's like the movie side, Poltergeist. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my house is haunted. It is like something, but but I've never seen it do this before. Anyway, um, but the uh, I digress. The uh, 
the, the fun stuff about, about writing books is that you could be an expert at something and when it gets published, at least they, people think that it's true. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the best part about that is, as I said, if you buy cannabis cocktails, you, I come along with it. So, so, as, a, so as I really ha have to say, and, and I will say it again, if you run into problems in the book and you need help with it, get in touch with me. I've easily gotten in touch with and say, you know, I'm having a problem. Please help. That's yeah, awesome. I mean, we would what love I to. Say? I, I can't say no. So. You know, I mean, we would love to, you know, have you part of, you know, one of, one of our events and, and yeah. you know, and, and really oh, showcase man. You, some you, great you stuff. You guys have it going on with that hotel down there in Phoenix. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was no, telling you. We were telling you, man. It's, it's it, you know. When, we, when I worked in the restaurant business for the Scottsdale Princess Hotel and, you know, I was making Kentucky sandwiches by the pool. And, uh, you know, I, I just had dreams that Phoenix was going to be a cool place someday. As soon as everyone out in Sun City died off, it would just be something, <laughs> yeah, something really cool. See, only, only a snowbird would know what Sun City yep, really meant. Yep. <laughs> it's Snow definitely uh, those are snowbirds, yes. right? <laughs> No, but uh, I agree, man. And it's taken a while for for our scene to kind of catch up to, like you know, oh, let's just say California, you're, Colorado, or anything you're like so that. So lucky, you're so lucky because you you have encapsulated the passion for craft. That's right. And the stuff that I've seen that's come out of Arizona is is so craft oriented. It's it's not corporate cannabis. It's craft cannabis. And and, and I love that you mentioned that because that's really something that's super important to. Uh, us and, and the show uh, and our community, you know, because, you know, yes, we're a worldwide show, but at the same time, we're very community based and we're Arizona. We represent the communities of Arizona, yep. um, of all of Arizona. And really, you know, we we, you know, love to give good information and and and, and you know, lots of different knowledge and, you know, and, and people have questions. And so when we bring on guests like yourself, you know, I ask a lot of stupid questions because I want, you know, <laughs> you know, people have questions and, and no, you and, want to extract the right information. Yeah, Absolutely. You know, uh, I, I'm fortunate. I grew up in a Frank Lloyd Wright house and uh, you're so fortunate in Arizona to have so many great, you know, you have you have great you just it's, frank played right heaven yep, it is <laughs> in, in, in in scottsdale and, and in phoenix you know per se and it's just it's the, these houses for me are, are so powerful because it made me the person and the man that i am today you know architecturally and also from the from the cannabis point of view i don't think mr wright ever smoked weed but the houses yeah. are wonderful to smoke weed well, in they they showcased I, I think they recently on the news they showcased his old house somewhere in paradise yeah, valley yeah. or scottsdale yeah. like the design of it was amazing it was it was yeah. awesome yeah, they're they, the they evoke wonderful dreams. You know, we have a, a couple, a few months of some severe heat that sucks. You know, I'm born and raised here, but other than that, you know, yep. Arizona's beautiful. You, you know, bet. more and more people are coming in. You know, obviously the houses are, you know, the prices are raising. You know, all those Frank Lloyd Wright homes are, you know, but skyrocketing. Were, but you know, they were made in the '40s. I mean, they, you know, those houses from the '40s and the '50s, and they they, they were meant to last. Yeah, yeah. they're brick homes. Oh, yeah. You know, now we got they, sticks the, and they're historic. The, the roofs, yeah, yeah leak, cookie but, cutter. Yeah. You know, and. And just like boom, how fa fast as we can get them up? You yeah. know what I mean? And yeah, that's so, true. So, do you have any plans to come out to Arizona yourself, Warren? Uh, you guys are going to invite me to come to the to the hotel, and I'm yes. going to make delicious cannabis cocktails. We are. I, I told and you then we can talk about. that. I'm going to try to put that together, so we'll, yeah. we'll be talking okay. soon about that. Very, very. I would soon. like that very, very much. Awesome. Yes. Definitely. And, and meanwhile, um, when I first came out to Arizona after working in the restaurant business out there for that faded summer that i went to the silver bowl to see the grateful dead and came back and they fired me so it was probably <laughs> the best and i and i but, love, um, you know i'm actually i'm a chef myself so i've you know, okay, been okay so you understand so, uh, very, very don't, well the, the, the takeaway is don't drive to las vegas to see the grateful dead at the silver bowl <laughs> and tell all your friends that you're really sick that day yeah. <laughs> don't do that don't do that no. um don't do not that. recommend not, not a good thing but uh but i did but the uh when I came back to Arizona, I came back and went out to Sunday Goods yeah. in uh, Winslow, Arizona. Yeah. yeah. And we flew in from uh, from Scottsdale, uh, from from Phoenix actually, and uh, it was just incredible. They have like uh, over a hundred thousand square feet under under in a yeah. Dutch greenhouse out there in the desert, the high desert. Yeah, they're, it's they're... just spectacular. 
They're doing the, good, the, good things over there. That's the for sure. weed is is so good. It's so good. It makes you wonder how they can do it at scale at such high quality, but right. they do. And that used to be an old tomato farm that they're doing that. Right. At, exactly. So. Exactly. So they use the same workers and they just implemented a different plant. So I think that was pretty well, genius. It, it looks the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, that's what they do. I mean, you know, I actually have a friend that that had some farms in California. And he used to s supply, you know, poinsettias and stuff for like Walmart and, you know, mm -hmm. Lowe's. And, and now he is 100% cannabis. Yeah, hell yeah. He, there's no more. There's nothing. Yeah. It's, it's all poinsettia, cannabis hell now. no. Yeah. You know, no, so. no more poinsettias. Yep, no more. So <laughs> that's, so, that's heavy chemical stuff. So, Warren, I, I really appreciate yeah, you up? coming on the show and mixing it up for us. You know, we've never had a mixologist on the show, so this is. I wish I, I wish I could shake up some cocktails for you, but I, but I wasn't. You will be really, that. really soon. We're gonna have you here. There and, I am, and and uh, we're, we we can't wait. You know, that's an old picture. <laughs> hey, you still looking good, I was, I was good, like Warren. sixty-five pounds heavier then. <laughs> I still still drank then. Well, you know, I think what you're doing is is an awesome thing. You know, it's something different, like I said, and you're not just doing something typical. You're going a step above oh, and beyond oh. to be able to teach people how to do a craft, you know, uh, infused with cannabis and alcohol if they want. I, that whole uh, sure. cross fading, I think, you know, you're right. It is one of the best buzzes, I would say, in my, you know, in my past. I've, I always enjoy a couple beers with, with my weed as well. And, it, you know, I don't want to get messed up. I just want to feel good, right? Yeah, man, that's that's really important. I think you should get some of those incredible local microbrews and have them uh, infuse them with a you know, hey, we have a local, uh, our local sponsor. Uh, it's a craft beer company, uh, North that. Mountain Brewing Company. I was there yesterday when we talked, and actually they want to infuse, they want to make a, a beer. So maybe I can get you in contact with them as well, and, and you know, we can make something, something happen. Yeah, that would be wonderful. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what I can Thank do you. on both of those different things, and we'll definitely be in, in contact. You know, I, uh, I'm glad to know that you are part of the Cannabis Cactus. They are a great magazine out here in Arizona. They're doing wonderful things for the community. A lot of great information and content as well. Michael Cassini, you know, doing a great job, man. Shout out to you. You're, you're, you're killing it on that. You know, and, and having Warren over here as one of your writers, you know, you can't go wrong with that either, man. You, you're doing great things. Congratulations on all your books. And uh, I can't wait to uh, meet you in person, man, and make this uh, a, a regular thing in Arizona. I look forward to it. Yeah, man. You have a, you have a great thing going there. Well, Keep it up. We appreciate you, man, and uh, thank you for taking the time. And uh, shout out again. Where can people find you? Uh, Instagram, Warren Bobro. Uh, I think I'm Cocktail Whisperer on LinkedIn. Uh, Facebook, my name, but you can find me. Yeah. Um, that's that's really pretty much it. I mean, it's instagram's the easy one there's twitter but that's so political i don't even want to go yeah. there and hold, um, up, hold up your book again one more time so people yeah can here see we that. are all right and yeah. with that book and then that thought you know uh, we, we always ask our guests to give a, a few words of inspiration uh people out there you know what, what can you say to people out there that are you know home and and you know they've had rough years and you know what, oh what can you say to them uh the the greatest advice that i can give to someone is take money out of the equation if you can uh, the second best advice is don't work for free. And the third little bit of advice is do what you love and be passionate about it. And uh, the money will come. I, I like keep it. telling myself that. I don't know. Hey, me I too. That. Yeah, wait, I'll mend that right there. I'm waiting with you, man. Yeah, we're, we're, we can, we're in the same boat. We're so. right there. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, right. man, appreciate you. You have a great night and we'll talk Thank soon. You. Thank okay. you. Be well. Blessings. Cheers. Man, That's awesome. man, this is great. Man. You know, the it's things a... that, you know, that what I'm excited about is, you know, where cannabis is heading. You know what I mean? Like we're we're just at the forefront. of Yeah, things. we haven't even scratched the surface, really. I mean, really, there's just so many things and experiments and, you know, uh, you know, I'm seeing so many different technologies. Uh, and I really wanted to actually get someone on without this powder THC I've been seeing. And it yeah, kind of scares me. Yeah, the sprinkle. I don't know. It kind of scares me. You can sprinkle on anything. Honest, you know what I mean? So. Uh, but I don't want to get too far off topic, but cannabis has, has come, you know, such a long way. I mean, even with, you know, the mixology and, 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 you know, and infusing it with, you know, alcohols and, yep. and foods and, and nano. And, yeah. And I mean, you faster know, absorption, it's, you know, it, 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 it's crazy. I mean, it's really, for me, you know, I'm not, you know, too big on the technology of, of, of cannabis. It's kind of gone way before further than where I was, you know, years ago. <laughs> yeah. You know, hey, you know of... speaking about cannabis, I think we should shout out our uh, weekly promo code. Yeah, um, let's shout out our sponsors, grade. you know what I mean? Our yeah. sponsor, High Grade, you know, 
Uh, we got that promo code, what, is a SAPHG726? That's right, and it's good for uh, an eighth of high-grade flour, any eighth of high-grade flour for $40 plus tax. We all know that eighths are around 60 bucks mm -hmm. plus tax, so, I mean, for 40 bucks plus tax, you can't beat that. That's only at Sticky Swirl. What else do they get with that? So uh, you get 40% uh, off any one cartridge or concentrate. So you can go in there to Sticky Swirl on Riggs & McQueen. Um, right there in Chandler, uh, you're going to go head on in there and you can get 40% off of that's a awesome. concentrate. I mean, 40% one of the best off. deals I mean, in the state. That's crazy right there. So and then if you the want diamond. some merchandise, like mm -hmm. the, the pictures behind us, shirts, hats, or anything like we that. We have a special code. That's right. right. It's, uh, you got to go to High Grade's website, highgradeaz.com. Um, the promo code is SAPHG. And what does that get you? That gets you, what, 25% off your entire order. That's right. I mean, that's incredible. I mean, 25% off, I mean... Man, you know, I got you can get lids, you can get, you know, shirts. I like these, these so pictures back here. So I'm actually got one of the shirts that's on there too, you know, that I got. This nice white one, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And then you got uh, so definitely check out cool their stuff, website. So check it out. And uh, you know, you oh, get a lot of different stuff. I did on want there. to talk about our etiquette line. Oh yeah. Uh, the etiquette line uh, with candies. You know, I was munching on these taffies. I mean, we got truffles. We got all sorts of things. I know that the uh, uh, kitchen is is whipping up some new things and. And, uh, you know, we'll be excited. To That's a new uh, new brand or a new thing that they're doing, their etiquette line. So they're going to keep on coming with the heat on the edibles. Uh, we got some, you know, the chocolates up on the screen right there. They so got truffles. Good. Oh, my gosh. Um, they got bars. They got these taffies. They got all sorts of different stuff. Uh, I do want to shout out Shango again. I'm going to hold this picture up. Let's see if we can get it on camera over here. They got a nice little spread in the uh, Cannabis Cactus. We were talking about the Cannabis Cactus uh, magazine. So that's Chavo Odajian on the uh, cover there. There we go. We got their strains right here. Uh, we were just smoking on that alien cookies and in a minute we're gonna be doing a for our second segment We're gonna be smoking on that modified banana We're gonna be uh, having Ari in the house from Canopy reviews and he's gonna be doing our uh, monthly strain review But right now I want to bring on our uh, show director and actually one of our other co-hosts uh, Tanya over here. We're gonna be talking about her new segment. That's gonna be coming to play uh, smoking hot and smoking hot is gonna be just for the ladies. It's gonna highlight professional stoner women in the industry and what they're doing so what's up tanya hi, hi. welcome to the show how's it going thank you for uh, last week you did a wonderful job thank co-hosting thank you very yeah. much it's so, uh i need to get used to being behind the mic more <laughs> but so, no it was a lot of fun so let's uh let's hear a little bit about smoking hot and what you're looking for for anybody out there listening yeah smoking hot is uh definitely geared towards the women so we're going to focus on more like lifestyles, women in cannabis, uh, women just killing it in the industry. Beauty. Uh, beauty. Um, just, again, just overall relationships, uh, you know, inspiration, people that are, you know, owning their own business. and uh, just, just to highlight those women, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, ladies are doing a lot of stuff, not just in cannabis, but I've noticed in all different industries, you know, whichever one you're in, you know, women are gathering and sharing their talents with each other. And that's what you should do. I, I love to call it like the bartering system where you do and I do. Like, what can we do together to share what we know and our... Bring each other up, right? Yeah, our talents and our, our strengths and, and just motivation of, you know, maybe you've been wanting to start a business, but you don't know how. Uh, but I might bring somebody on the show who's going to teach you how to start that Sweet. business. And Well, I think there's going to be a great segment. You know, like I tell everybody about this uh, smoking hot segment. You know, I've always wanted to bring a segment to the table for the ladies out there, but it'd be a lot different coming from me and this guy right here, right? I mean, we want a lady to run that and really, you know, well, I, I think, you, you know, women would hold back talking to us rather than talking to another I lady, tell you, you know? about the ladies. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Let's at, hear it. I want to know. <laughs> your, your lady's over there Ask looking at you with the right evil there. eye. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, oh, I think this is going to be great <laughs> to bring to the table, you know, and, and have it coming from a women, woman's perspective. Yeah, it's you know, be a and lot of fun. Uh, somebody that has experience in the cannabis industry as well. And that's important to be able to highlight, you know, this is a cannabis show, a music show as well. But we like to highlight all people. Community. That's right. We want to show people, you know? you know, what's possible out there and inspire people to do more and to do better. I mean, yeah. do better for Empower like Tony said. Empower each other. You Empower know? each other. Work Absolutely. with each other and, and let's help each other. Don't be against each other. Yeah, We're all you in might, this together. You might be in a job and a career that's just not doing it for you anymore and you're just having a hard time taking that leap. So we're going to show you how to take that leap yep. and maybe, yeah. you know, start designing your own life a little bit and 
Take, reclaiming your time. You know what That's that what sounds like? That sounds smoking hot, right? I like it. <laughs> hot. Yeah. So any woman out there or if, shoot, any man out there that knows a woman that's really yeah. putting it down and that we need to talk or to. Or if you're not sure what you are. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you know that's what right. I mean? we, Nowadays, we support right? everybody. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, send us a message to the Stone Age podcast. Uh, you can also send me an email at Tanya. That's T-O-N-I-A dot the Stone Age 710 at Gmail. And Ooh. check out our new, uh, her new Instagram page as well. Smoking hot with Tanya. And uh, reach out there to her on there as well. Yeah, send me um, a if, if you're out there and you own a, a cannabis company or a business, you want to promote your business and you want to, you know, shout yourself out. We are looking for a sponsor for that smoking hot segment. And there's going to be a lot of women tuning in, so you might want to get on board on that. Yeah, it's going to be a yeah. lot of fun. So we're looking forward to that, Tanya. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much it. for your time. We yeah, appreciate thank you, for you everything the you do. Absolutely, it's awesome. of course. You know, we got more segments to come. You know. And I can't wait to just really bring more to the community. That's what this show is all about. We're, you know, we're a lifestyle brand as well. We want to showcase what people are doing and, and, and everyday people that use cannabis. And we want to break that stigma. And this is how we're doing it. You know, and we're the Stone Age Podcast. So check us out every week. Peace. Peace. Producing premium cannabis that is expertly cured and hand trimmed. High Grade is dedicated to perfecting cultivation and extraction methods while staying patient centered and product focused. Industry leaders and connoisseur grade flower and extracts ensure an environmental controls are set to the absolute best levels in a manner that creates only the cleanest, most potent, terpene rich cannabis in all its forms. With over 30 plus locations to find high grade products in Phoenix, there's more than one way to add high grade to your life. Elevate higher with high grade. <laughs>